Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tanya Williams in the Division of Child Care and Early Childhood Education. And I want to give a little shout out to Rebecca Mitchell. We call her Becky here and Brenda Suarez. Um, they helped put together the slide for our provider calls. And I just want to thank them for that. I appreciate all that work, gang. Um, we have a full agenda and I'm going to do a couple of updates. <clears throat> uh, Brenda, if you'll go ahead and advance to the next slide. Just a couple of updates uh, around the COVID front. I usually try to give these, and then we have some guest speakers. Um, as always, I do wanna say thank you all for everything that you're doing to keep children safe and care for them and uh, nurture them um, throughout this whole um, crazy world that we're in and that we've been in really for the past year and a half. So we currently have five facilities that have reported closures to us temporarily due to COVID. Um, so we we have our, we did see a little bit of an increase in the past month or two, but we are still seeing a lot of stabilization with that now. So as of today, um, we have five facilities that are temporarily closed. Capacity is at about 167,875 children. Um, we have 12,418 essential workers that are obligated through October 31st, um, and around 1,500 new apps that are in pending status. That goes up and down um, as people withdraw and then sometimes submit new applications. But we have several that are in the queue. As many of you know, we stopped adding uh, about a month and a half ago um, to that because the funding that we had at that time, we were at the top of that funding and could not add any more families. Um, we have made some adjustments. You'll see the uh, expenditures for the curse of funding. We're at about 93.5 million out of the 119 million. Um, we have obligated the essential workers through October 31st. Uh, we are scheduling a supplemental payment uh, for the entire month of September. Um, and then we will see where we are financially with what is remaining. And then the American Rescue Plan Act or some folks refer to it as ARPA, has been approved and we are underway with implementation. Um, we do have a presentation later and I uh, just thank Tom Shepard, uh, Rachel Machen, Paige Cox, uh, Brandy Ishman and the entire uh, family support team for all their work. Uh, Tom's gonna be doing a demo and I do wanna uh, call out, you've had a, a couple of colleagues that have been testing for us and I just really appreciate those providers who are willing to um, test and make sure that things were good before we go live. And Tom will provide some updates on that. But I'm going to go ahead and move us to the next presenter, um, Donna Kirkwood from um, A State, um, is going to talk to us a little bit about Better Beginnings. So, Donna, I'm going to hand the mic over to you. Thank you, Tanya. Um, I know that a lot of you all are working towards Better Beginnings Level 2 or even Level 3, and we just wanted to make sure that you were aware of the resources our team provides, and um, we have, we provide support for providers when they are working on their application and when they're working on their pass or BAS review, which are required for Level 2 and Level 3. So I just wanted to share a couple of things in the chat box. One is our email address um, so that if you want to get in touch with us, if you have questions or concerns or you need help, if you're frustrated at any time, please email us and let us know because we can help and, and or we can find somebody to help. And then also I know that there have been a few concerns about finding the required trainings for Better Beginnings and we have put together some documents for you that um, will lead you right to a list of required trainings and then updated links to every single one of those trainings. And those are gonna be updated um, frequently, at least monthly, if not more frequently than that. And then one more thing I wanted to share was that today after this call from one to three, we are gonna have what we are calling a Better Beginnings Helpline. And um, during that call, we are simply there to answer 